Vladimir Putin today was at the UN, so is Barack Obama. They could not be more different when it comes to Syria. Barack Obama uh, saying he wants Bashar al-Assad removed from power. Putin says he thinks that's an enormous mistake not to cooperate with Vladimir Putin. Which man is right? Okay, so I've been saying this for a long time, and I've kept it low, and I really understand what's going on in Syria, because mm -hmm. you look at it, first of all, it's a total catastrophe, it's a total mess, and we're helping to make it a mess. Now, we have ISIS, and ISIS wants to go after Assad, but we're knocking the hell out of him, even though it's not a very full-blown thing. We're still dropping bombs all over the place, and, you know, look, they're not exactly loving life over in Syria. So we're stopping them, to a certain extent, from going after Assad. You have Russia that's now there. Russia's on the side of Assad, and Russia wants to get rid of ISIS as much as we do, if not more, because they don't want them coming into Russia. And I'm saying, why are we knocking ISIS, and yet at the same time, we're against Assad, let them fight, take over the remnants, but more importantly, let Russia fight ISIS if they want to fight them. Let them fight them in Syria. Now, we mm -hmm. can fight them in Iraq, but if you think about Iraq, We've spent $2 trillion, thousands of lives lost, wounded warriors who we love and I love all over the place. What do we have in Iraq? And did you see... You said you'd put ground troops on the ground in Iraq. Well, we're going to have to do something with ISIS. I, I was totally against the war in Iraq, and I was from the beginning, 2003, yes. 2004, because you're going to destabilize the Middle East. I was right. And should be given credit, because out of everybody running, I'm the one person that said, mm -hmm. don't do it. And in How fact, do you put Bush, ground troops in Iraq, though, but not in Syria? I mean, well, there, because there is I'm no saying, border, essentially, look, between those countries. Let Syria and ISIS fight. Why, are we, why do we care? Let ISIS and Syria fight. And let Russia, they're in Syria already, mm -hmm. let them fight ISIS. I look, I don't want ISIS. I don't want ISIS. ISIS is bad. They're evil. When they start doing with the head chopping and drowning of everything, these are really bad dudes. So I don't want them. But let them fight it out. Let Russia take care of ISIS. How many, pe how many places can we be? So essentially you're uh, saying let Russia take care of ISIS. If, if Vladimir Putin wants Bashar al-Assad to stay because it makes sense for him, you're okay with so that. So I've watched him a lot, and I've made a lot of money watching people. You know, deals are people, okay? People say, what is, what is a deal? How do you make good deals? It's all about analyzing people. So I've watched Assad, and I've watched a little bit on the other side. The problem is the other side of Assad, we have no idea who they are. Hmm. So they probably are ISIS. I'm saying... Are we better off with Assad? We have no idea who these people are. We give them weapons, we give them ammunition, we give them everything. Mm -hmm. Aaron, we have no idea who, I mean, maybe it's worse than Assad. So what are we doing? Why are we involved? Mm -hmm. We have to get rid of ISIS, very importantly. But I look at Assad, and Assad, to me, looks better than the other side. And you know, this has happened before. We back a certain side, and that side turns out to be a total catastrophe. Russia likes Assad seemingly a lot. Let them worry about ISIS. Let them mm -hmm. fight it out. Yeah. Now, in Iraq, we have to do it. We shouldn't have been there in the first place, but we left the wrong way. When Obama took us out the way he took us out, that was a mistake. We should never have been there in the first place. So uh, when we talk about the Middle East, you know, you've been critical of the Iran nuclear deal. Uh, but unlike some, you haven't said you'd throw it out. You said you'd make it a better deal. Well, that's I'm, what a, you would... I'm a person that's a business person. So you, you just would, can't would do that. The deal. But, but Aaron, with that being yeah. said, and you've known some of the deals. I've, I've bought into really bad contracts knowingly, and I bought them cheap because they're bad contracts. And I've taken those bad contracts and make them, I've mm -hmm. made them great. I've made a fortune. What you have to do is this. I will analyze that contract so strongly. I will go after, and believe me, if mm -hmm. they violate that contract, they have problems. But what they've done is they have totally out-negotiated us. The fact that they get $150 billion, the fact that we have the 24-day wait period, and it's actually much more than that. Before we can that. inspect, yes. Oh, no, it's crazy. Mm -hmm. I mean, 24 days before we can inspect? The fact that they self-inspect, and how about the prisoners we don't get? We don't get anything. There's one other thing that nobody talks about. If Israel ever attacks, if they ever attack Iran, there really is a close in there the way I read it, and I'm pretty good at this stuff, we're supposed to protect Iran from Israel. I mean, we're supposed to fight Israel. So That's we, not going to happen. We're supposed to fight. How do they allow a clause like that in there? Hmm. So it's a horrible deal. With that being said, 
I will police that to a level that they will not believe even exists. So Hassan Rouhani just uh, said something which, uh, about the GOP, insulting pretty much all of you. He said uh, it, some of the, what the Republican candidates are saying are laughable. He said, I'll quote him, some of them wouldn't even know where Tehran was in relation to Iran. Some of them didn't know where Iran was geographically. And that's pretty harsh. Yeah, I don't know who he's you, talking about. So but, you but would can know I where Iran is on I a do. map, right? I do. Okay. But, what do you say but, to him? but let me just tell yeah. you what I say to him. They have so out-negotiated our people, because our people are babies. They have mm -hmm. no idea what they're doing. I don't know why Obama wanted to make this deal so strongly, because he lost on virtually every point. They will find out. I know he's not talking about me. They will find out that if I win, we're not babies. 